The hemorrhoidectomy, according to Milligan Morgan, is next. In a Milligan Morgan hemorrhoidectomy, also called open segment excision or open hemorrhoidectomy, the most commonly used hemorrhoidectomy procedure, the hemorrhoidal artery is suture ligated and the hemorrhoidal nodes are excised. Then here, shown in yellow, the fatty tissue is exposed and shown in red. Parts of the anal sphincter are also exposed. The reason why this is called an open procedure, open hemorrhoidectomy, is because the excision sites are left uncovered. Nothing is sutured up there. That's then the distinction from Ferguson hemorrhoidectomy that you see in the next picture. Now here is Ferguson. The difference is that the excision sites are closed from the inside to the outside and that only a small piece remains open on the outside so that should a clog be formed, it can be drained. Now we talk about the stapler, hemorrhoid poxy, according to Langone. In this, we find the word stapler. That's where this illustration comes from. The circular stapler consists of a pressure plate and this device to be inserted transanally, for example, for rectal anastomosis or into the small intestine for anastomosis after gastrectomy for esophagogeogenostomy. Then, by turning the back of this black knob, that's contracted. On the handle, you can then release or fire the stapler, create a double suture row while new devices even do a triple row. The red ring is a ring knife that cuts the anastomosis rings from the oral and aboral limb. This is the puncture cone and these are the staples. That is the ring knife. This is the special stapler for the stapler hemorrhoidopexy, according to Longo. It is a little bit stronger because the hemorrhoids have to fit into it. Large third degree hemorrhoids have to fit into it. It comes with a special proctoscope, a kind of speculum. I'll show you how to use it right now in an animation. This is the original device of the free stapler from the company Ethicon. However, the patents have now expired and there are alternative devices from other manufacturers. The first step of this operation for the stapler homoidopexy, according to Longo, is the insertion of this special speculum. This ring is inserted with the help of this obturator. Then you have the possibility to achieve a view on the base of the hemorrhoids and then suture ligate the hemorrhoidal artery with a normal needle holder. Then the hemorrhoids are ligated to pull them into the stapler, which is then inserted. This is what it looks like when the stapler is still open. The hemorrhoid is now grasped at its base and partly pulled into the stapler head. This is where the staple suture is then placed, 